Thank you for joining Hudson Regional Hospital's podcast. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Nazar Kavaya, CEO and President of Hudson Regional Hospital. Hi, Dr. Kavaya. Thank you, Cheryl. How are you? Thank Welcome. You. Thank you for having me. Of course. So we know exactly what it means to be a robotic institute, but explain to the community, please, what exactly that is and why it's important for our patients to know that. So um, since everybody loves IRS, <laughs> um, we've created the, the Institute for Robotic Surgery here at Hudson Regional Hospital. The reason why initially we thought that this would be a, a really good thing for us to do is we thought that concentrating a lot of technology in one focused effort, organized effort, will um, not only deliver the message out there that we're really committed to this, but I believe that it, it, cr it creates a coordinated approach to cutting edge technology in medicine you know, where you have a certain group of individuals that are running this program really dedicated to researching cutting edge technology, exploring it further, bringing it to the table, deciding whether or not it's something that would be a valuable addition to what we already have, then getting the physicians out there involved in evaluating this technology and and, and, and deciding whether it's something that we want to, again, bring to the table and, and make it part of this organization. Yes, there are a lot of hospitals out there that have, you know, some cutting edge technology, but it's usually things that are sort of added on as different components to plug different holes in the entire process of patient care. But again, we believe that uh, having a concerted effort that is really coordinated to this approach would be more appropriate. And we can see that now because, you know, physicians out there now have a, and patients have a certain expectation when they hear about the Institute for Robotic Surgery. They know they're coming to a place where the physicians are extremely well trained on this technology, that we have the best technology out there. And again, we're outcome and driven here and we make sure that the, the quality is there and so on. So, uh, so I believe the IRS is gonna bring something really good to the community. Some of the examples of the different types of new technologies that we brought here, you know, we have two minimally invasive spine robots. Um, we have two orthopedic uh, uh, joint replacement robots here, the Makos, uh, the Spine, our Globus and Mazar. Um, of course, we have Da Vinci XI for minimally invasive GYN, bariatric, general surgery. Uh, urology, cardiothoracic. We also brought in one of the only open high field uh, MRIs in the county. We, we, we also have, I believe, one of the only uh, comprehensive wound programs in Hudson County with hyperbaric chambers. And we have a, a really robust sleep program here at the hospital as well. I know you mentioned about the hyperbaric chamber. So can you tell the community a little bit about what that is and what kind of conditions we treat in the hyperbaric chamber? Yeah, so the hyperbaric chambers are machines that provide uh, intense oxygen therapy. Clinically, it has many different uses, one of which is for wound healing. And of course, there are a lot of other ways to use it as well. But our focus here at the hospital has been in wound, wound care management. Do we have anything else from a surgical perspective that's kind of coming down the pike that we should expect? Yes, so, I mean, the, um, it, it is really important, I believe, for a lot of the surgical programs out there to test themselves uh, and compare themselves to the, some of the highest national standards, uh, just like the standard, the center of excellence designation, and, which is recognized by different societies, out, surgical societies out there. So we have managed in the first three years of being here to achieve the center of excellence designation for minimally invasive GYN surgery, robotic surgery. And we're in the process right now to hopefully in the next few months, Cheryl, yes. to a year <laughs> to accomplish the center of excellence designation for multiple other robotic surgery and other types of surgery. One of the new, one of the newest additions to the hospital is our physical therapy, acupuncture and chiropractic program, which is really uh, a beautiful facility with cutting edge technology, highly qualified technicians and therapists uh, that is open to the public and of course 100% in network. Tell us a little bit about how acupuncture and chiropractic medicine can kind of enhance our current physical therapy program. We believe that a, a comprehensive approach to patient care, especially post-surgery or even for optimization prior to surgery, will potentially require uh, intervention from a physical therapist, 
an acupuncturist and a chiropractor. And the beauty of having all of that here under one roof is that um, they all coordinate together the, the, the care plan for the patient. So everybody's communicating properly and, and everything is being done for the well-being of the patient depending on their condition. So it's an individualized approach to patient care. You're not being seen by a physical therapist in one location who then sends you to a chiropractor or a different location, sends you to acupuncturist in a third location. Everything here is under one roof. Talk to us about the Physician Boost Program. I know that's something that we're kind of, you know, working into the organization. Can you kind of fill us in a little bit about that program? Sure. So, so look, I think um, one of our greatest assets is our ability to work with, with physicians. And we understand, as a physician, I understand where physicians come from. Um, Physicians want to see patients, they want to focus on that. They really don't want to spend a lot of time doing much else except really take care of physician patients and, and make sure the patients get what they need and provide the highest level of care and patients do well post-surgery or post-discharge post from the hospital and so on. So we understand that there's less time spent on really getting their names out there and talking about how good they are at what they do. So this program is really designed to do that for them. We, uh, as a hospital, partner with the physicians to bring their voices, bring their faces, bring their skill set, bring their practices out there and get everybody to know about what they do. So it's, it's a combination of multiple different things, whether it's marketing through our uh, social media, marketing through our website, uh, using some of our billboards to highlight some of the physicians that we think everybody should, should get to know. And we encourage every physician out there to, to participate with us in, in this um, initiative because we think it's going to really serve them very, very well. That sounds like an excellent program. Yeah, and I would say for, for the physicians out there in the community and also for, for the patients that will be listening to this, we've committed as an organization to furthering the uh, knowledge of our physicians and and maintaining their skill set to a level that they're, you know, they're happy with and provides the best outcome for patients. To that extent, we've partnered with multiple of the different vendors out there to provide a, a place for training for the physicians where uh, we host different um, skill set labs and, and things like that for to further the skill set of the physicians and make sure that they stay on um, at the tip, of, you know, on top of their toes in terms of providing the best uh, care for the patients and and maintaining their their skill set to a level where it's supposed to be. Thank you so much, Dr. Fies. My pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please visit our website for future podcasts.